Hello, I'm, I'm Fred, and I'm here today with uh, Dr. Z. Uh, and Dr. Z is going to give us a little uh, lecture today, or a little seminar on how to have better hair. Yes, well, let's get started. Let's get started right away. This is important. We want to get the follicles going. We want to have better nutrients. And the, the main way to do this is to eat a lot of bioflavonoids, a lot of vitamin A kind of things like carrots. We, we want to invigorate the hair starting from the root. The root, we want to gently massage the areas that we want to grow. And we want to give them the proper nutrients. This is most important. What are the proper nutrients? Well, first of all, to eliminate dryness, it might be beneficial to add some omega oils, like the fish oils. A capsule of 1,000 milligram might be sufficient. Or you might want to add a little olive oil to your salad. Olive oil. Fruits and vegetables are very important. So the whole context, or the whole idea of having more or better hair is to increase the blood flow to the scalp and to eliminate any kind of blockage to the the scalp pores so you want to keep the scalp clean you want to keep the blood flow to the scalp some people do this by doing like a sort of a headstand but you don't want to brush too much some people go by the erroneous notion that brushing and brushing and brushing is good for the hair not necessarily it might be beneficial to give a very subtle scalp massage forgetting about the hair to keep the scalp in good condition keeping the scalp in good condition so that the follicles are ready to allow new hair growth. Remember, hair grows very slowly and it can take months if you have a little spots where it's um, patchy and there's very little or no hair there it's going to take a long time for the little hairs to start growing but if you leave them alone and you nourish them properly the hair will um, replenish in those areas a lot of fruits and vegetables they say salt is not good I mean the experts on this say salt is not very good for hair growth I mean if you're if you're taking in too much salt also limit the the sugars go light on the sugary refined snacks and and that's basically it I want want to thank you for watching and folks I, I just want to remind you that uh, Dr. Z is for entertainment purposes and I, I thank you have, have a nice day